Day seven in the morning, just drank some grapefruit juice. Uh, actually right here, finishing it up. First time I've done a video blog on this blog. I think first time I've done a video blog ever. So feeling good, feel good every morning. Late afternoons and the evenings is when I feel the worst. Yesterday was probably the worst that I felt. Uh, starting right about three o'clock, so uh, on into the evening and the day before. But I'm, I always feel great in the mornings. I have ever since probably day two or three. And I go on a walk in the mornings, come back, and I just feel energy. I feel great right now. Looking forward to going to a local farmer's market, outdoor farmer's market, this evening with my wife. And I'm going to call my father-in-law about that too. I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got there. Um, I would encourage anybody to uh, get on the juice bandwagon. Uh, even if it's just for one day, two, three days, any of it's good. Um, good cleanser. Um, I guess what really sparked me up was the documentary Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. And I'm, I'm not, I, I wouldn't call myself fat, sick, <laughs> or nearly dead. But um, I don't want to get to that point and then have to do this then. I want to do this before I get there. So that's what I'm working on. And I think we should take care of our bodies. I think uh, the Christian faith, um, of which I'm part teaches us to take care of our bodies uh, that the Lord has blessed us with. So I'm very thankful to be on day seven. I've got, after this, 33 more to go. That seems like a lot when I say it, um, probably because it is. But um, I've got a lot of comfort about this. I've never felt this way about a juice fast before. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a blog comment. I'm not a doctor. I don't know a whole lot about what I'm doing. I just know that it, uh, it's good for you and it's life going in to life and I know that can only be good. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll hit you back up. Who knows when. See you.